Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Matt Fessler. I'm the Associate Dean of Enrollment here at Hudson County Community College. And welcome to our live virtual event, Let's Figure Out Fall. And this is a virtual event for high school students. Uh, but it's okay if you're not a high school student, you're still welcome to stay. Uh, a lot of this information uh, will pertain to you as well. Uh, so with that being said, I do have other panelists with me today. And at this time, I am going to ask them to turn on their microphones and video and join us. Uh, while they're doing that, I am going to go through today's agenda. Uh, so in a moment, we are going to do introductions and you will get an opportunity to meet everyone that's with us today. We're then going to go through why HCC this fall. We're going to talk about transfer opportunities at Hudson. We're going to talk about our vibrant campus and student life. Our new Secaucus Center out in West Hudson. A very exciting program that I think a lot of you will be interested in, uh, which is our year up program. Uh, we're going to talk about something that's obviously very important, which is paying for college. Uh, we'll wrap it up with some admissions and enrollment information. Uh, then finally, at the end, we will do a live Q and A uh, uh, on video at the very end if there's any additional questions. Now, I do want to let you know that you can ask questions live throughout the presentation. There is a Q and A chat box. Uh, we ask that you put the questions in there and you can ask questions throughout the presentation and we have individuals on with us today that will be answering questions throughout the presentation so we encourage you to do that if we don't get to all the questions uh you will i will put contact information up at the end uh so you can always follow up after the presentation as well all right so uh let's go through introductions and let's find out who's with us today as i said before my name is matt fessler i'm the associate dean of enrollment services here um, and we'll go right in order here. I'll pass it over to Janine. Hi, welcome everyone. My name is Janine Nunez and I am a recruiter here at Hudson County Community College. I mainly work for business culinary and hospitality, but I am open to working with all students. I also do job placement, externship and advising and counseling. Thank you for joining us today and I hope you enjoy the presentation. Nakia. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Nakia Santos, and I'm an admissions recruiter at Hudson County Community College. My job is to assist of me going out into the field, recruiting students from all over um, high schools or events that are taking place in Jersey City. I am happy that you are attending, and I'm happy to assist you at any time. Thank you. Royal? Good afternoon. Welcome. I am Royal Maynard, likening to Janine and Nakia. I'm also a recruiter. I'm also an alum of Hudson County Community College, graduated in 2008 with an associate's in accounting, went on to pursue my bachelor's at NJCU and my both of my master's at St. Peter's University. And I'm just glad that you are here today. Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Diana Galvez and I am the student development associate for the North Hudson campus of Hudson County Community College located in Union City. I've been a part of Hudson County um, Community College for six years. Um, my job can be best described as a generalist. Um, I work with seven different departments ranging from admissions to student affairs to the food pantry. Um, my job is to assist students um, throughout their academic career at Hudson. So please feel free to ask me as many questions as you have about this amazing community. Um, Marie. Hi, my name is Marie Mahood. I'm a counselor on campus who works in advisement and transfer. Uh, so welcome to you and we're here to help. Hi, my name is Christopher Conzen. I am the executive director of the Sea Caucus Center, which is located within the Frank Gargiulo campus of the Hudson County S Schools of Technology, uh, right around the corner from the train station in Sea Caucus. And I look forward to telling you more about our location in a little bit. Hi, everyone. My name is Jacenia Torres, and I'm the recruitment manager for our program year up. And my job and goal is really to give you as much information about the program and help guide you to seeing if this is a great program fit for you during your time here at Hudson. So I look forward to sharing more with you a little later. And Christine. Okay. Hello, I'm Christine Peterson. I'm the Associate Director of Financial Aid. And I'm here to talk to you about uh, financial aid and ask you and answer any questions you might have. Um, I'm delighted to be here. 
Hello, everyone. I'm Veronica Gerasimo, Assistant Dean of Student Life and Leadership. Our area oversees all involvement and engagement from new student orientation all the way through commencement. So we keep you engaged, entertained, and socializing with each other and learning uh, clubs, organizations, events, and everything in between. So you'll learn a little about that, about that later from me as well. Great. Thank you so much for be, uh, for all of you being here today. Uh, audience members, as you can see, we have a great group with us. So definitely ask questions and you'll hear from a lot of them in a moment. So let's start off talking about why HCC this fall, why it's a great option. And first and foremost, something that stands out always is the amount of money that you can potentially save by enrolling at Hudson County Community College. So the potential savings in New Jersey, if you attend a community college compared to a four-year institution can be over $20,000, It's obviously a lot of money. So the average college credit cost in New Jersey anyways, at a four-year institution, the average uh, college credit costs about $519. This is actually the third highest of any state. A college credit at Hudson, on the other hand, costs $149 per credit. Uh, so you can see, you know, on average, a four-year institution is much more expensive, almost four times the rate of Hudson County Community College. And remember, a college class is three credits or four credits, maybe sometimes five. So you're multiplying that by three, four, five, depending on how many credits the college class is. On the left-hand side there, you know, we put an illustration up so that you could see, uh, you know, how we compare to four-year institutions in New Jersey, you know, especially New Jersey private schools and the New Jersey public schools like Rutgers and things like that. Uh, New Jersey private schools on average are over $37,000. New Jersey uh, four-year public schools on average are over $13,000. And Hudson County Community College is five, just right around $5,500. And this is a tuitions and fees per year. So there is a lot of money to save over two years at Hudson County Community College. And you can still transfer to that dream school you've always wanted to uh, to, to, to go to, and we're going to talk a little bit more about that today. Here are some other reasons, uh, you know, we wanted to talk about, you know, what, you know, why HEC is a great option this fall. Uh, something we say here all the time is, you know, at Hudson, your family, uh, we have that family style type of atmosphere, you know, support services from staff, faculty, um, you know, you're going to make connections with, you know, your peers, clubs and organizations. Uh, so you actually will hear that saying when you're on campus, you know, once you're at Hudson, you're part of the family. Uh, we, we feel that you're going to feel that support when you come here on campus. Uh, another thing is you're close to home. Um, you know, there's a lot of uncertainty right now um, and being close to home is uh, certainly, you know, near your loved ones with everything going on is certainly a, a benefit at this time. Uh, our campus is also very easily accessible. So um, the one thing you can be certain about is being close to your loved ones, being close to home and also close to a campus that's easily accessible um, when services do open. We have over 60 degrees and certificates offered here at Hudson, so there is a lot to choose from. Uh, we're always trying to find, you know, add, adding new programs uh, like advanced manufacturing, cybersecurity, um, and trying to make sure we're, we're leading into jobs that, you know, in demand employment, and also degrees that are easy to transfer to four year institutions. We have unique organization and college partnerships. I'm not going to go into too much detail here because uh, uh, others will be talking about this. You'll hear from year up uh, and you'll hear about our college partnerships and how easy it is to, uh, to transfer. Uh, we also have the community college opportunity grant. So eligible students uh, can attend Hudson County Community College tuition free. Um, we'll go over those eligibility requirements uh, in a little bit uh, from our financial aid representative. And then, you know, we have we're highly supportive and responsive, you know, faculty and staff. Uh, this is actually a quote I have on the right hand side that's from Stacy Gleason, who's a school counselor at Bo Hoboken High School. And she said, you know, we've been so responsible and helpful to, to me and my students, especially during this remote learning process. I can't tell you how many of our students are not hearing back from reps from other schools and is adding so much stress. Uh, you know, it's very important that we're responsive to students, especially during this time. Uh, and I will talk about a lot of our remote services that are available now during uh, the pandemic. So you can continue to engage with us, continue to enroll um, and move forward with your education. So something that's obviously very important, I'm sure on top of many, you know, uh, on top of your mind is, you know, what we're doing through uh, COVID-19 and the pandemic. Uh, we believe this is a reason why to attend Hudson this fall because of what we our response to it, the support we're offering, and the plan we have for fall 2020. 
So I broke this up into two, two categories, the support that we've been already been offering and then what our future plans are. Uh, I do want to let you know, always from the very beginning, the number one priority is the safety of our students, faculty, staff, uh, and that will continue to remain going forward. Uh, you can find the most up-to-date information and resources if you go to hcc.edu slash coronavirus uh, dash resources. And all of our HC services that are remote are available at hcc.edu slash remote services. So anything you've been able to do on campus in the past, you can do now remotely and all of our services are at that link. Um, so things continue to move forward. You can enroll, you can talk to financial aid, you can talk to advising and so on. Our president did freeze tuition, which is very exciting for the 2020-2021 academic year. This is to help students during the pandemic. So we're not raising tuition. It is the same tuition as it was last year. We've ordered 650 Chromebooks to provide students without computers uh, to help support students for these online classes that they're taking. This is a this is free of charge, so we do not charge you for this. Uh, you just have to return it at the end of the semester. Uh, our HEC food uh, food pantries have remained open through the pandemic, and this is to help students in need. Uh, we have one in our Journal Square, Jersey City campus, and one in our uh, North Hudson Union City campus as well. We have the Hudson Helps Emergency Fund is available to students in need. Uh, this is to help students in financial situations that are struggling. Uh, and this was available pre-pandemic, um, but more so now than ever. So helping those students um, you know, in emergency situations. Of course, there's approval process um, and eligibility requirements, but uh, that is available to help students um, in emergency situations, especially during this time. We have excellent online orientations and support system. Uh, so we are definitely, uh, you know, offering uh, how to be an online student, how to use our uh, uh, online systems like Canvas. Um, there's all different type of support, including tutoring. Every all that is online, and there's a lot of support uh, from the Department of Online, uh, but also faculty and staff as well. And this is a great time to take an online class. If you've never taken one before, uh, this is a great time to try it, see how you like it. Um, you know, that's the direction higher education is going anyway. So uh, I keep telling students, if you've never done it before, this is the perfect time to try an online class. So something that I know uh, you're all thinking about is what are we doing in fall 2020? So the president has announced that most of our fall 2020 classes will be offered online or remotely. And this is so we can continue to practice social distancing uh, practices and uh, making sure we keep things clean and sanit sanitary throughout. Uh, but certain labs, culinary, health sciences, and related courses, um, we are trying to get on campus. And of course, this is subject to state approval and adherence to safety protocols as well. We also are going to try to get um, many of our student services to be offered on ground. That includes admissions, financial aid. Um, it will be reduced and there probably will be only a certain amount of capacity that are allowed in at a time. Um, but we are working on getting those on campus as soon as possible, We're working with the state to provide a plan to be on campus for those students that want to do things in person. But like I said, we're still encouraging students to do everything remote. You can do that. Again, if you go to hcc.edu slash remote services, everything that we've done on campus is remote right now. Uh, of course, if we come back, we are gonna do intensive social distancing, sanitizing and cleaning practices will be implemented and followed and students will have to wear a mask when they're inside a building. Uh, you can stay up to date for our return to campus information. We are providing weekly updates on there. So if you go to hcc.edu slash return to campus, uh, you can find out the most up-to-date information. Like I said, there are weekly updates coming about our return to campus. So please follow along if you're interested about getting on campus uh, sooner than later. So lastly, I, I want to the last thing I want to talk about why HCC is great this fall. There's nothing better than hearing from uh, an alum of Hudson County Community College. Uh, so I have Diana Galvez and Nikia Santos, uh, both HEC alum, and they both work for Hudson County Community College, uh, but they both ha have also recently graduated from Hudson County Community College. Um, so I'm gonna have them share their story. It might not be exactly what your story is, but we do have uh, students with all different types of backgrounds and situations. Um, I would just would love to hear from them talking about their experience at Hudson and what it was. So I'm going to hand it over now over to Diana and then we'll hear from Nikia. Hello again, everyone. Um, so my story uh, started um, when I first arrived in New Jersey. Um, I moved to Union City 
like a day shy before my fifth birthday and I've grown up in the community ever since. Um, I'm well aware of the challenges and unexpected obstacles that you sometimes face when growing up in Hudson County. Um, I graduated high school in 2008 with a 3.9 GPA. I was top 10% of my um, graduating class and received um, many scholarships um, for college. Um, one of the scholarships that I received was the NJ Stars um, scholarship. For those of you that don't know, it's a scholarship awarded for high school students um, to attend community college. Um, and I show you pays for it. And then if you keep, as long as you keep your GPA up, uh, when you transfer to a four-year university, they'll um, pay for your bachelor's degree as well. Um, when I graduated high school, I thought I was prepared for um, the transition from high school student to college student. So I decided to decline my um, NJ Star scholarship and I went to a four-year um, school instead of community college. Um, I attended Ramapo College. Um, I thrived at Ramapo. I was um, part of student life. I was inducted to honor societies. I even um, uh, pledged for a sorority, um, but sometimes uh, life gets in the way and my junior year at Ramapo, I became pregnant and I became a single mom. Um, I decided to, I was determined to finish my education, so I decided to commute um, to school. It was a two hour commute there and back. Um, so eventually my uh, grades started to um, decline and I had to put school on hold. Um, Thankfully for me, while I was working retail and school was on hold, I had the opportunity to work at the front desk at the North Hudson campus of Hudson County Community College, and it was the best decision I ever made. Um, while I was working the front desk, I got to see firsthand how determined and dedicated um, Hudson County Community College students were to their studies, and it inspired me to go back to school. I graduated Hudson in 2017, summa cum laude, with an associate in sociology. I took advantage of their um, relationship with NJCU and transferred to NJCU upon um, completing my associates. And um, they accepted all 96 credits that I had available. So when I got to um, NJCU, I was considered a senior. I just this January graduated from NJCU um, after returning from an observational studies trip to India with an, uh, a bachelor's in sociology. And the best part was that I was offered a permanent position as a SDA here at Hudson. Um, I love working for Hudson, the higher education is my passion. Um, it's a great family environment. Um, they will help you um, place you into different um, opportunities. I've done student lobbying day with Hudson at Trenton. I've been part of the graduation experience, which is amazing because the same students that I help with the admissions process, I get to see cross stage and it's just an environment. So. Hudson has been my second um, chance at uh, being able to complete my dreams, and we just want to be here and help you complete your dreams as well. Thank you so much, Diana. Uh, and I'll pass it right over to Nikki, and I'll have some comments afterwards. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Nikki Santos, and I'm the admissions recruiter at Hudson County Community College. So I just want to start off by saying thank you for attending today. Um, and I'm going to tell you, share a little, share you, my story with you. So in 2001, I graduated from Ferris High School in Jersey City. I grew up in Jersey City all my life. Growing up, education was not a part, wasn't spoken of in my home. So uh, I had no intentions on attending college after I graduated from high school. However, I did follow the herd from Ferris High School to Hudson County Community College. Um, I didn't know what my path was. I didn't know what I wanted to major in. So I just chose liberal arts. In my second semester, I had a bump in the road and that bump was my belly. I became a single mom and I was pregnant with my first child. College did not seem attainable or measurable at that time. So I decided to leave. During my time away from school, 13 years, I, I was a phlebotomist. Um, but I always felt like there was a void, like I was missing out on something. I would see individuals so happy on social media, young and old, and I always felt like I wanted that. Luckily, luckily for me, um, I was laid off from my job after 13 years, and I said, what now? What do I do now? I was a single mother of two, 31 years of age, and I said, you know what? I'm going to step out on faith and I'm going to go back to school at 31 years old. One day after my birthday, I signed up for Hudson County Community College and my life took off from there. 
I graduated in 2016 and I received my associates in human services. And I also took great advantage of Hudson's transfer program. I transferred to Rutgers University, me. Um, I graduated from Rutgers University in 2019 with my bachelor's in social work and um, when I minored in sociology. And seven days after graduation, after receiving my bachelor's, I entered into the MSW program and I received my master's within a year, three semesters. And I graduated during COVID. I had experienced my first uh, virtual graduation. So I am a COVID graduate. The funny thing is this graduation was so far, so heartfelt and more emotional than the two in person because I overcame obstacles that I didn't realize that I can overcome. So I say that to say this, you're gonna come into some bumps in a row. Hopefully it won't be a baby, but you'll come into some bumps in a row. You'll face many obstacles, but stick, stick it out, stick in there and know that you have an auntie at Hudson and you have a family at Hudson. Thank you. Thank you, Nakia. I don't, I don't think you could have said it better. Uh, thank you both so much for sharing your inspiring stories. Uh, truly appreciate it, you know, sharing personal information and everything. So uh, everyone has different paths in life. And um, we do hope that that path leads you to Hudson at, for an opportunity um, to excel. As you have seen, Nakia and Diana um, are excelling um, not only in their education, but in their careers as well. Uh, so once again, thank you both so much for sharing that. All right, so at this time, I'm going to pass over to Marie and she's going to talk about uh, transfer opportunities at Hudson County Community College. Hi again, my name's Marie and I work in advisement and transfer. Our students struggle with a lot, jobs, family, school, but they have inspiring stories like you just heard and sharing their success is the best part of my job. Hudson meets you where you are. Hudson offers the most reasonable tuition rate and we're the best school to meet your needs. The big question, as Matt said, is why would you want to pay double or even triple for the same information? Hudson is a two-year school, the first two years of a four-year degree. You decide on a major, one area of study, and we'll help you from there. If you don't know what you want to study, we have a general studies major called liberal arts. If you know what you want to major in and you know your four year school, let us be your launching pad. Uh, this slide tells you about some of the schools that we have relationships with, but as Matt always says, the sky is the limit. Next slide, please. Instant decision days. Every semester, there is a schedule. What school is coming and when? You do an online application and many times the fee is waived. You meet with the transfer counselor that day and you hear if you are accepted right on the spot. Just remember that grades matter and they'll affect your future. So work hard and make every grade count. In closing, Hudson meets you where you are. We can take you very far. We hope you join us in our quest to help make you a great success. Thanks for listening and your kind attention. Thank you so much, Marie. Uh, and you know, we have those college partnerships and, uh, but students uh, transfer to locations throughout all of the United States um, and even uh, internationally as well. We've had students go um, you know, to uh, Canada and New Zealand and all around uh, the world as well. So, um, and some to some of the top prestigious schools in America, uh, including Ivy League schools. So, although we have those partnerships, which make it very seamlessly, seamless uh, transfer, uh, you know, the, there are many opportunities for students. If you have, you know, if you're looking at University of Southern California, uh, that is without a doubt a possibility. Um, so there's always a lot of options on the table. So at this time, I'm going to pass it over to Veronica, and she's going to talk about campus and student life, which is always really, really exciting. 
Yes, look at all those beautiful faces and those big smiles. Um, so yeah, so we have a very, we pride ourselves on a very vibrant and active campus and student life. There are some students that come into the community college thinking they're not going to get the same experience as at a four year or there's nothing to do or they'll be missing out. Um, and we promise you at Hudson County Community College, that is not going to be the case. It's, it's exactly the opposite actually. So we can go to the next slide. Our office and our clubs and organizations organize over 400 events a year. So, and that's through the, the main fall and spring semesters as well as a summer programming. Uh, we keep, we stay busy, we keep our students busy. We do uh, cultural, cultural events, educational, social. We wanna build your leadership skills. We wanna get you connected to other students and get you to the next place in your life. And of our events, they're highly populated. We have an average of 84 people, 84 people per event. Um, so it's not just we're throwing these events and nobody's coming out. It's a very active uh, campus and student life at Hudson. It's amazing. As I mentioned, we have 40 student-led clubs, organizations, and honor societies. Uh, we'll talk about those in a little bit, but that's an opportunity for you to build your leadership skills, to get to know people, to build your resume, to get involved, and then allow that to help you when you transfer onto your four year as well. We offer a lot of community service opportunities uh, through our office and through our honor societies and organizations, as well as leadership development training. We do emerging leader certificate programs and we're working on different leadership certificate programs within our office that will help you once again, build your resume, build your skills, make you stand out among the rest when you're going for a job interview or transferring to a four year. We have shifted to virtual events through uh, COVID-19 um, and, and we have not stopped our traction. So we did an engaging social media contest. We had a virtual talent show, a TikTok contest. And throughout that, we had over 17,000 likes, views, comments, votes. Um, so it was really, really exciting. Uh, and then we also transition on and we do our graduation events and commencement. So like I said, we start with our new student orientation. So as a new student, you'll be uh, joining into that. We're transitioning into an online new student orientation that we'll be launching um, later this summer. And then when it's time to graduate, we're there celebrating with you as well. So we do uh, a lot of events, celebrating you on social media, um, so everything in between. And we wanna make sure that you follow us on social media. So we are on Facebook, HCCC Student Life, as well as on Instagram. I encourage you to follow us now and get started and, and, and taking a look into what we do. Next slide. So our clubs and organizations. We have a student government association that represents the voice of the student body, serving on campus-wide committees, providing support and guidance to our student-led clubs, and organizing events and programs to serve our diverse student population and enhance student life. With that, we have over 30 student-led clubs and organizations. You can see a list here of our current uh, active ones. Um, our STEM club is fantastic and really active, LGBTQIA club, our new club, Latinx American Association, the Later in Life Leaders Club, Adventurers Club, anything in between. Um, and it's a really, really easy to start a club as well. So if you see something that you connect with, great. If you wanna start something up, we help you with that too. We really wanna make sure that you find your place at Hudson, you find people to connect with, people that are gonna bring you to the next level um, in your leadership and in your engagement. Next slide. We have seven honor societies on campus, chapters. Alpha Sigma Lambda is our newest. That's for our adult student learners. Chi Alpha Epsilon is for our EOF students, uh, honor society. Uh, National Society of Leadership and Success is our leadership honor society. Phi Theta Kappa is a high academic achieving honor society for all community college nationwide. We have a really amazing chapter of PTK, five-star chapter constantly winning awards every year. Uh, we're very, very proud of their success. Psi Beta is for psychology students or students who take psychology courses that are high achieving. We have Salute for our veteran students, um, as well as Sigma Kappa Delta for our English students, or students that have succeeded in their English classes. All of our events and engagement can be found on Involved. So that's our student engagement platform. That's involved.hcc.edu. Once you are accepted and you get a Hudson login information, you can log on to the Involved site and join clubs, find events, track your involvement. Um, and we wanna make sure that we, you know, keep you engaged on your mobile phone and always knowing what's going on. So we promise that we will see you, hopefully see you in the fall um, and keep you excited and engaged in learning uh, virtually or on the ground. Awesome. Thank you so much, Veronica. Uh, you know, don't let anyone ever tell you that there isn't a student life at a community college, because I promise you there are so many events in a week, you won't even be able to get to them all. 
Um, so it's a very active, uh, you know, uh, community at Hudson County, uh, and there are always things going on. Plus, the one thing I always hear from my students, uh, from the students, is that there's always a lot of food, right, Veronica? Um, a lot of free food, I should say. Yeah, um, a lot of free food. <laughs> exactly. I often hear one thing. I'm sorry. I often hear when people transfer onto their four year, our students they'll come back and they'll say. They don't have this kind of stuff at my four year or they're getting ready to graduate. They say, well, I really hope that we get these same experiences. Um, so we know that we offer something really special and, um, and we, we're really excited to be able to offer that to you. Absolutely. Uh, cannot agree more. Thank you so much, Veronica. Uh, at this time, I'm going to pass it over to Dr. Chris Conton. He's going to talk to you a little bit about our new Secaucus Center. Center. Hi, everybody. Uh, I am very excited to talk to you about our Secaucus Center. Uh, I came on board last year to um, open up this new space. Uh, this was created in an agreement with the Hudson County Schools of Technology, and uh, we operate within the Frank J. Gargiulo campus, otherwise known as High Tech High School, which opened up just a couple of years ago in C Caucus. Um, next slide, please, Matt. So out of this location, we offer evening classes to um, to meet the needs of not only just uh, all of our evening students, but also to meet the needs of our residents, particularly of Western Hudson County, to provide them with a, um, a geographically more convenient location to attend classes that they want to in person. We are currently offering courses that will um, meet the needs and requirements of a liberal arts degree and a business administration degree. And then um, once we return to in ground on ground operation, we will also be offering classes towards the completion of the addiction specialist certificate, which will uh, provide students with the necessary education to do the additional um, requirements in order to get a CADC certification. Uh, we offer um, courses five nights a week, starting at six o'clock. Um, so you theoretically could take five classes, five different classes a week and complete your degree in two years, uh, all from our Sea Caucus location. And you can even park for free uh, and right outside the building. Uh, so it's a very short walk and you do not have to pay or drive around to find a place to park. For those of you who do commute and use uh, mass transit, we are located uh, less than a 20 minute walk from the Sea Caucus Junction train station. Uh, so, like I said, we started operation in, last fall, uh, and we continued through the spring until all of the institutions had to go remote. Uh, we will not be offering courses in person this fall, but um, the moment that we are, are allowed to offer everything back in person, we will be up and running again and uh, excited to serve the needs of all students within Hudson County, but um, also for those who would find it more convenient to take classes within the center. Thank you, Matt. Thanks so much, uh, Dr. Conson. And, uh, you know, there's nothing better in Hudson County than free parking with a short walk to the building. Uh, if you're a Hudson County resident, uh, I'm sure you can relate to that. So uh, that is a huge perk about there, uh, about uh, taking classes at that site. Uh, so thank you once again. Uh, I'm going to pass it over uh, to our partner, Year the Year Up program, uh, and Jasenia can talk a little bit about this further. Hi everyone. Thanks, Matthew. So again, my name is Jasenia Torres, and I mentioned earlier that I'm here to talk about the Year Up program, and my entire role is really to give you as much information that I can, so that you can make a decision regarding this program. So what Europe offers is a workforce development program. What does that mean? It means that as you're going to Hudson County Community College and getting your education, you could also be taking a giant step forward in terms of your career. And so what that looks like is we are a one year program and that one year is broken up primarily into two main phases. So for this upcoming year, it would be your fall semester and your spring semester. In the fall semester, you would be getting a combination of professional development training, as well as career training through your Hudson County classes. The reason that that's specifically important is because we're not doing anything extra, right? We have a few seminars that we ask you to attend as being a part of our program, but essentially your schedule is your class schedule. 
And then during your spring semester, you would actually work with a one of our corporate partners. So some of our partners, um, especially in the New Jersey area, includes I know Jet, Chase, Bank of America, and Prudential. Those are some of our biggest in the Jersey City area, but of course we have like over 50 programs or partners in our larger market. But that is a paid internship. That's where you're gonna get your hands-on experience, which is something that not a ton of people can say that they've done in their time at Hudson County. So we support career tracks in information technology and business operations. So if you are looking into those fields, maybe you aren't even sure, just chat with me. I'm happy to walk you through all of those options and you know what your career might look like moving forward. So this is a great option and program for all HCCC students. So that's kind of step one. Are you going to attend HCCC? Then are looking at some of these other things that you see on the screen here is your age, whether you have a high school diploma, if you're eligible to work in the US, and lastly, are you motivated to launch a professional career? That is really the thing that we are looking for. We are looking for motivated, talented young adults and students who are eager to get their career started. So I definitely would love, I could go on forever. So if we don't take away too many things from this, just know that we are a paid program, which means we pay you to join our program. Um, and you can sign up for us at the link that you see on the screen, bit.ly slash Y-U-H-C-3. You can also contact us at our year up at hccc.edu email, and the numbers are provided there. I really look forward to hearing more from folks and being happy to answer any of the questions that we can. Just really consider that what are some of the ways you can make the most out of your Hudson County experience? Because this is not a program that is offered pretty much in any other community college or college in the Jersey City area. So thank you so much. Thank you, Jacinta. Uh, really appreciate uh, the information that you shared with us today. Uh, I can this I cannot stress enough. This is a phenomenal program uh, to have hands-on experience through a paid corporate internship, uh, and then you know if you transfer to a four-year institution, you already have an internship under your belt before uh, you moving forward into a bachelor's degree program. So um, it is a just an awesome program. Uh, I highly recommend reaching out to Jacenia or asking questions today if you are interested. All right, so at this time, I'm gonna pass it over to Christine Peterson and she's gonna talk a little bit about more about ways to pay for college, specifically uh, some things with financial aid and scholarships. Hello, everyone. Um, the first step in funding your education, it's a very important piece, um, is to complete the FAFSA application. That's the free application for federal student aid. This uh, will tell us uh, your eligibility for uh, any grants and loans uh, to help you pay for your tuition. Um, it's avail Remember that it's a free application. So if you go to any other site and they ask you for a fee to complete it, Get out of that site and go to www.fasla.gov. Okay, so do not pay any fees. Um, and you can file the application uh, with a mobile app on your phone or by computer or a tablet. And um, it'll determine your eligibility for a Pell Grant and for student loans. But remember, do not pay a fee. And the 2020-2021 application for the new award year starting in July is available now. So if you plan on attending in the fall, um, you know, complete that application. And remember, too, that you need to complete it every year. Okay, um, moving on to the next slide is um, the CCOG grant. That's the Community College Opportunity Grant. It comes from the state. It was an initiative started by Governor Murphy in the spring of 2019. It's um, free tuition. It's applied uh, to your tuition after all other state and federal grants and scholarships have been applied. Therefore, it's a last dollar scholarship. And to determine eligibility, again, you have to complete the FAFSA application 
or if you're a New Jersey dreamer, um, then the New Jersey Alternative Financial Aid application. And this can be obtained from our website. Um, so uh, the Community College Opportunity Grant, um, you need to have an adjusted gross income between zero and 65,000 for a household income. And it will cover the balance of your tuition and up to $1,500 in fees. In fees. Okay, so make sure you apply because uh, the only way for us to know if you want this grant and to determine eligibility is to first apply. Um, next is um, scholarships. It's also another way of funding your, uh, your education. Uh, we have the Hudson County Foundation Scholarship and the Governor Government Scholarship. There's also a whole list there of the all different types of scholarships that are out there. There are literally thousands. Um, so you can go to our website, and I'll give that to you on the next slide, um, and apply for these scholarships here at Hudson. Or, and it's also going to show you a list of other scholarships. To narrow your search down, uh, go to fastweb.com or finaid.com, and that'll help you um, narrow the search for a scholarship that is the best fit for you. But scholarships are a great way to fund your education. Remember to try to stay away from any student loans or incurring any kind of debt while you're in school. Um, so this is a great way to do it. And the last slide is uh, some things to remember. When you're filing the FAFSA, remember do it every year. And the 2021 application is available now. Visit www.fafsa.gov. To learn more about the CCOG grant, Community College Opportunity Grant, it's www.hccc.edu slash free tuition. And it will give you all the requirements and everything you need. And then the scholarship website is www.hccc.edu slash scholarship. So those are three important websites to go to to get uh, more information. And remember, too, that um, after you apply, always check your portal for any emails uh, if we need further information or if there's anything else that you have, have to do. Remember to go into your portal, log in there, and check your emails um, every day. If you have further questions or you just want to um, talk with a counselor, you can contact the financial aid department for more information on financial underscore aid at hcc.edu, or you can text us at 201-744-2767. Okay, so make sure you get started with all these, um, these applications. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you so much, Christine. Uh, just, I wanna remind everyone it's financial underscore aid at hcc.edu. Uh, when it's hyperlinked like that, uh, it, it looks like it's just a space there. So that's financial underscore aid at hcc.edu. And another thing I want to say is that more than 80% of our students receive some type of financial aid and or scholarship. Uh, so that shows that students are receiving the funding they need to pursue their education at Hudson County Community College. Uh, once again, thank you, Christine. Um, I'm going to cover really quickly, go through some steps to enrollment. Uh, and then I will, uh, we'll get to um, some live Q&A at the end if there's any additional questions. Um, and I'm sure uh, uh, the staff has been answering questions as we've been moving along as well. Uh, on the left-hand side there, I have quick steps to enrollment. Uh, this is just, you know, a five quick steps of kind of the general idea of what you need to do to enroll at Hudson County Community College. But of course, this is kind of what it used to be when we were on campus. Now that things are more remote, uh, you do have to do more of the processes remote as well. Uh, so on the right hand side, I have a few of those those up there with with some resources and links uh, and we can send this presentation out afterwards uh, so that you can have these links. Uh, but many of these are available on our website as well um, and, and the different links that we're providing to you today. So uh, the first thing is, if you haven't applied already, you want to go to hcc.edu slash apply. Uh, we do have a promo code right now that we're running, which is a capital H capital C and the number three, so that's HC3, and it is cap sensitive, so make sure you capitalize the H and C, and that will waive the $25 application fee. Uh, many of you will need to take the placement test or be exempt from it, and there are 
three different options you have right now in regards to placement. Uh, if you go to hcc.edu slash remote placement, the three options are there. I'm actually going to talk about them a little bit further on the next slide as well. And then you can register remotely as well. So if you need to register, you can set up an appointment with an advisor. Uh, we have the calendly.com slash Hudson slash uh, Hudson CASS. Uh, and you can uh, actually schedule an appointment with an advisor and they will work with you in registering for classes, either by telephone or a video conference like Zoom or WebEx or something along those lines. Uh, but first you have to apply and then you have to be placed first and then you would be able to register. Uh, for Again, I wanna plug the hcc.edu slash coronavirus dash resources. That has a lot of information as well as all of our remote services, uh, link, the, uh, a link to our remote services as well. Uh, so I mentioned I wanted to talk about uh, the remote placement options. Uh, so again, if you go to hcc.edu slash remote placement, uh, you will see these three options. So the first one being you can be exempt from the college placement test, uh, but you have to submit qualifying, whether it's a high school transcript, SATs, ACTs, uh, TOEFL, we accept AP scores. Uh, so there are options to be exempt and go right into college level coursework. Uh, we are still offering the online college, uh, the college placement test, but it is online uh, through a third party called Examity, uh, which we have a, a partnership with. Uh, so you do take it online and it, and it is proctored by somebody online as well. Um, and some of you that you might want to do that to become more familiar with what type of questions are being asked in college and what's expected of you. Uh, but then we also have another great option in regards to the directed self placement, which is actually new uh, and something that we've started since the pandemic. Uh, and this is where you will review course descriptions and expectations, followed by a brief questionnaire. Um, and then at the end of that questionnaire, you will select the preferred course placement. But this will also uh, be with an advisor, and this is something that they're going to work with you to make sure uh, that you've made the right selection and it seems to match up uh, with you. So there is a little bit of a process, the questionnaire, um, but uh, it is a great option. No one knows you better than you. Right. So, um, but again, we will have an advisor to assist you with that to make that final decision. You don't want to place too high or place too low where the classes are too easy or, like I said, place too high where it's very difficult and challenging. Uh, so we're going to work with you to make sure we place you in the right place. So that is new um, and is a great option for students uh, right now, especially during the pandemic and with a lot of things being remote. Again, hcc.edu slash remote placement. There's more information and steps of who you should contact. Uh, and of course, I do have the testing information. You can always email them at testing at hcc.edu. And then I also have their telephone number up on the screen as well. If there's one thing I can plug about enrollment, it is the hcc.edu slash enrollment guide. Everything you need about enrollment is in here, uh, including all the remote services I've been talking about as well. Uh, uh, start dates, payment options. Um, you know, everything you could possibly imagine about enrollment is in there. So if you're going to, uh, if there's anything you need about enrollment, remember this hcc.edu slash enrollment guide. Once you, uh, uh, plug that into your webpage, it will actually download a PDF version of our enrollment guide. So lastly, I have some contact information up here from different departments, especially that are useful when enrolling at Hudson County community college. Uh, and we do have. Uh, their email addresses and, and text lines up here on the screen. This is really the best way to reach us at this time. Uh, so I, I, I have this up here, but if you're uh, scrambling to write it down right now, uh, don't stress about it. At the very end of the presentation, uh, after we go through some Q&A questions, I will, this is what I will end on. So I'll leave it up for another 30 seconds to a minute at the very end of the presentation uh, so that you have this information if, you're, if you wanna write it down. All right, so at this time, I'm going to stop sharing my screen and I'm asked that um, any of the panelists to come back on video and unmute their microphones. Um, and I will, like I said, stop sharing my screen at the moment. Um, and I have I have not been able to been able to look at the questions. Uh, there may have some that have come in. I don't know uh, if anyone wants to jump in with any questions that have been um, that we want to talk about with the group. I also encourage uh, individuals that are still on with us um, to continue to put questions in the chat uh, of the, excuse me, the Q&A box. Uh, so if you have any questions now, feel free to, uh, to put some of those in there now. So I don't know if any of our panelists have any questions they wanted to jump on right away. Well, Matt, I'm going to say I'm a little sad because the Q&A is one of my favorite parts and there's no questions. It's only one question from a student, but 
funny thing is I'm already in contact with her mom regarding admissions. So, you know, I just replied to her letting her know that I do remember her name and I, and I'm already in contact. But there's no question, guys. Come on, don't be shy. Um, yeah, definitely don't be shy. I actually have brought more staff than I've ever had onto this because previous ones that we've done, we couldn't even keep up with the questions. There were so many. Um, so yeah, definitely. If you have any questions right now, um, we're going to be hanging around just for um, uh, several uh, more minutes. Um, so please uh, let us know what type of questions you have, if any. Matt, okay. Sorry. Can I bring something up, Matthew? Sure, of course. Okay. Uh, if any student out there has an IEP, and if you have the idea, you know who you are, uh, what it is, you need to contact Ms. Corinne Davis at kdavis at hccc.edu. One thing about college, we cannot ask you if you have an IEP, you have to self-identify. And if you had the services in high school and you did well, please make sure you get the services here. It's all confidential and we have a lot of good help here. And we want you to be successful, so please reach out to Ms. Davis. Thanks. That's so important. Thank you, Janine. Mm -hmm. um, Matt, um, I have back. a question. I'm sorry. Um, if somebody was asking about um, if they transfer to a four-year school, do they have an associate's um, or a bachelor's? So um, me and Nakia both have, uh, well, Nakia has more degrees than I have because she finished her master's. Um, but when we, um, when you transfer to a four-year um, institution, you transfer as long as you completed your program requirements from Hudson with an associate's degree. So while you're working on your bachelor's, you do have an associate's degree, which is awesome because it helps um, for most of us that like to work and go to school. So you have a chance of getting a better job while you're working with your bachelor's. And then when you complete, um, so when you're transferring to a four-year school with an associate's, you begin as a junior instead of a freshman at the four-year institution. And then you complete um, your bachelor's and you end up with two degrees. Great, thank you, Diana. Um, and I do see a question here for year up. Uh, if we still have Jacenia on, I know it was a question um, specifically. I think they were asking about um, someone. I think there was actually. I think we have two now. Um, one was about can it? I think assisting somebody becoming a teacher, and then the other one does it only apply to certain programs or courses or all? Um, and is Jacenia still? To, are you still with us? Yes. All right. Excellent. Perfect. I can go ahead and answer those. So pretty straightforward answers. I'm trying to get to the questions. Um, so for the program, it does only apply to certain programs and courses. We work with eight different majors at HCCC. See? And so to name them off, I don't know if you all will 100% remember them. Um, but I know business, accounting, hospitality management, and the various computer science programs um, are some of the, our main majors that we work with because we are specifically working to enhance careers in technology and business. And so that's just to answer that. If you're not sure um, if your major will qualify, if you are maybe just not even sure what major you want to declare yet, that's still fine. Come talk to me. I'm happy to talk through some of those questions and conversations. Um, and then for the other question, does the Europe program help you become a teacher? Not exactly. Like we are not directly in the line of providing a teaching credential or anything like that. Um, but I do think that one of the great things that we do offer is that professional development skill piece. And so you, those are going to be skills that you can take across any industry that you work for. So, you know, it, just because you're interested in tech or business now doesn't necessarily mean that's where you'll be five, 10 years down the line, right? These are big decisions that you all are making um, right now in this particular moment. And so I think that will you have the understanding and the professional skill set and the network to transition into a role that you may find later in life? I absolutely do believe that you would, but we do not directly link anyone into teaching. Great, thank you so much. Uh, you know, I did see this question posted twice, which was how do I commit to HCCC? Um, you know, we are an open enrollment institution, so we do, uh, uh, once you apply, you are accepted to Hudson, but we, of course, like I said, you have to go through the process of placement and everything like that. 
Um, so uh, you don't, there isn't really a commit to Hudson. Um, your commitment is really by registering and enrolling at Hudson County Community College. Um, like I said, that's because we have open enrollment and open enrollment really allows you to apply whenever you want. And we have 10 star terms per year at Hudson. Uh, so there are there's always another star term starting around the corner. We have multiple star terms in the spring, summer, and fall. We have uh, quick terms, which are more uh, condensed uh, uh, versions of our normal 15 week uh, classes. So uh, that's kind of what the idea of about open enrollment is. So there's really no need to commit. Your commitment is really by enrolling and registering. Okay, Matthew, there's people, uh, there's a question here about a student who went through early college, now has 12 credits and needs to register. I hope I gave him the right email, but uh, all of this you will be able, the students will be able to see all our, our links after this is over, correct? Correct, yes. I mean, okay. they definitely, I would, I, I recommend um, uh, to reach out to us after this presentation. If, if you're confused on anything about registration, we have a lot of students that do the LEAP or early college program uh, and then come into Hudson and we encourage that. Uh, so yes, reach out that you would really follow the normal process as any other student. Um, but it's always good, you know, reach out to us after the presentation. Uh, we'll make sure your account in our system is all correct so that we can get you moving forward and registered uh, for as an undergraduate student as opposed to an early college student. One of the best one of the best emails I can give out today, uh, and again, I'll put it back up on the screen, but especially for enrollment is admissions at hcc.edu. Uh, that is uh, constantly being answered Monday through Friday, unless of course there's a holiday or something like that. Uh, so admissions at hcc.edu, uh, Monday through Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Uh, we are remaining open to answer those questions. There's also a question about a deadline. Is there a deadline to enroll and to register? Uh, I don't know if anyone wants to take that, but it's a pretty straightforward answer. Um, there is no de deadline to register, but you of course have to register before classes begin. Um, so there, you know, we do encourage, there, there isn't a deadline, but I encourage you to register sooner than later. Um, classes will fill up the longer you wait. So it's better to uh, start, you know, making sure you're moving through the process with enrollment, uh, getting in touch with uh, uh, testing to make sure you do the placement test and then, and then registering. Uh, classes begin September 2nd. Uh, that's for our 15 week program. Uh, and then uh, for our 12 week quick term, uh, they begin September 23rd. Uh, so you, you really want to make sure you have everything set up before that date. But again, I encourage you not to wait. Um, classes will fill up and uh, if you register now, you're going to get a more ideal schedule uh, that will work with you and your lifestyle. So uh, definitely, you know, it's, 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 I always encourage students never wait. Um, and I promise you, it will be worth it. Uh, you'll get, you will get the more ideal schedule. Matt, and if they register early, they don't have to pay at the time of registration. Right. Yeah. So there are deadlines in the enrollment guide. There's payment. Uh, there will be uh, future deadlines of when payments are due. Um, and that also gives you, you know, the earlier you do this, that gives you more time to get financial aid set up um, so that you have all your payment things in place before when classes start. But yes, enroll at the enrollment guide that I plugged earlier, hcc.edu slash enrollment guide has all payment deadlines, uh, uh, depending on when you register uh, for classes. Now the questions are flying in. <laughs> yeah, I don't yes, know. Uh, <laughs> maybe Christy can answer. So, um, does financial aid cover if I take longer than four semesters? And how do I see if I have to get loans? Those are two questions in the chat that are connected to each other. Um, okay, Pavana, can you can you just repeat that? It sounded a little bit garbled. So, uh, please sure. repeat the question. Um, does financial aid cover? Take longer than four semesters, and how do I know if I have to take loans? The financial aid covers all four semesters. Um, I you take have up to uh, longer than four semesters. Um, it, the financial aid is up to covers up to six years of uh, grant money and loans, and you have up to uh, six years. To receive a Pell Grant. 
Um, usually students complete Hudson County Community College in three years so that you can go on for a bachelor's degree. Did that answer the question? I think so. And then if they, um, if they know, how will they find out if they need to take loans or not? Okay. As soon, once you file your financial aid application, um, that will determine, you know, that determines your loan money. So just by filing, uh, you would be eligible for student loans. And there are maximum amounts between, um, there are two types of loans, the subsidized and the unsubsidized loans. So, um, and there are maximum amounts that you can take with these loans. Great, thank you, Christine. Um, so Marie, this might be a question for you. When, when does a student know when the whole registration is completed? Um, obviously, especially if they're a new student, they have to meet with a, uh, uh, a counselor, right? So how does a student know when the whole registration is completed? Um, two things, early is better than late. When you register, you'll be directed to Liberty Link, which is where you can see your whole schedule online. And we have an add drop period, which is usually the first two weeks of the fall and the spring semester. At that time, you're allowed to change sections of classes. And um, uh, if a class has met twice, we can't switch sections, um, but you have two weeks to move around a little bit. But as soon as you register, you could see your schedule on Liberty Link. Yeah, so that is definitely you will you will have a schedule that you will be able to see, like Marie said, uh, and uh, really it, it should be after you meet with a, uh, the counselor. So when after you have that meeting with a the counselor, they're going to talk to you about registering for classes. They're going to talk to you about really your background, your situation, what you're trying to achieve. Um, so, uh, what, like uh, Marie said, you will have access to the portal and on that portal, you would be able to see a full schedule. Um, so I, you know, some students get confused that when they apply to Hudson, that they are registered already. Um, that is the first step. You have to apply, uh, then be placed or exempt. Uh, then you will meet with a guidance counselor and, uh, or a, not a guidance counselor, an adv advisor um, and counselor that will work with you in uh, picking your academic classes at Hudson. Mm -hmm. well, Matthew, did you, uh, there's one question here. It says, how do I know if I registered for 12 week or 15 weeks? Did you answer uh, that? Usually, yeah, usually that will be, more, um, you know, if, I mean, I would hope that the advisor, um, you know, Marie, I'm assuming the advisor would have those type of conversations with students. Um, but usually they are marked, um, you know, if you're doing self registration, they are marked by, um, you know, uh, the 12 week uh, or 15 week term. Um, so when you are searching classes, you, you should be able, there is usually a clear uh, sign that shows that it's a 12 week or 15 week class. I don't know if you have anything to add to that, Marie, um, but it, it uh, yeah, it's something that your advisor uh, would certainly have a conversation with you about. Are you interested in doing a quick term? Uh, we have students that do the 15 week term. Uh, and then they also enroll in a quick term as well. Uh, so that's a possibility. You don't have to do one or the other. You can kind of mix it up and things like that. Right. The advantage to a quick term is that you have longer, a longer period to register. So the quick term starts after the regular semesters. So that's an advantage too. Thank you, Marie. I do see a question on here. Um, I, I've seen some international questions. Um, I would recommend, uh, especially if you're an international student, to reach out to admissions at hcc.edu. We'll get you in touch with our international uh, advisor, uh, student, international student advisor that will work with you. Um, or if you're just trying to have transcripts or some, you know, sent over to us from uh, another country uh, and you want us to evaluate them, they will have to be evaluated. Uh, the company that we highly recommend is West W E S, uh, but they would have to be evaluated to make sure that it matches up with our curriculum here at Hudson County Community College. Uh, so we have a professional organization evaluate it, and then we will look at it to see what credits we would take. Um, just keep in mind, high school transcript is not required to attend 
uh, Hudson County Community College. However, a high school transcript may be required in order to receive financial aid. Uh, so high school, you know, transcript or diploma is not required, but it may be required to receive financial aid. So that's something to keep in mind um, you know, as you're moving forward with enrollment. So, uh, Marie, here's another question uh, for counselors. Uh, most of my friends have counselors who they can contact if they need help. Is the counselors arranged for the students specifically, or can we get help from any of them? In the beginning, uh, you make an appointment to see any of us on a rotating basis. You stick with that person throughout your first semester. Um, beyond that, you receive a counselor based upon whatever major you declare. So that counselor becomes the specialist who works with you throughout your career here. So um, there's also self-registration. So when you're in your program, you can, you're also taught how you can register yourselves, but also know that we're always accessible as counselors and you do get a phone number uh, for anyone that you're working with. Thank you, Marie. I did see another question. Where can I find information about tuition? Uh, if you actually, I believe it's hcc.edu slash tuition. Uh, so pretty straightforward, hcc.edu slash tuition. Uh, there's much more information on there, including the breakdown of all the costs uh, per credit, um, as well as fees are all included there as well. So uh, definitely check that page out if you want a, a more detailed breakdown of our tuition at Hudson. <clears throat> Matt, there's a question. Does HCCC offer double majors? I just answering that. <laughs> Don't have double majors here. Um, you are allowed to pick two areas, but at Hudson, you have to start in one, complete one degree, and then pick another one and start that degree. You really can't have your feet in two majors. We ask that you finish one at a time. Right, absolutely. So, um, you know, especially when you're starting out an associate's degree, you start off, you know, especially with that one major. Um, but then, you know, you a lot of times they lead to whether it's the same major or sometimes um, you might get a different degree at another uh, institution if you transfer for a bachelor's degree. So you almost can, you almost end up with two, you could end up with two degrees with two different majors, uh, maybe in the same field. Uh, but it, uh, Marie is absolutely right. You can't double down on any majors while you're enrolled. Uh, you can, we have had students that have completed majors at Hudson um, and then have come back for what we would call a second degree. Um, and some students have, you know, there's very specific reasons for that, um, especially a lot of career changes and things like that. Um, so we do have students do second degrees, but we're always trying to propel students to move forward. Um, so as much as we would love to have you back, and I really mean that we would, um, we're always trying to propel students forward to, you know, whether it's finding employment or transferring to a four year institution for their bachelor's degree. Um, Matt, I would like to add on to that. Um, as a transfer student going into Rutgers, I honestly did not know that you did have the op I had the opportunity to double major. I didn't double major, but I did have to take a major and a minor as a requirement. Um, so I majored in social work and I minored in sociology. So that's an option as well. You can either double major or you can major in minor. Great. Thank you, Nikia. You're welcome. Uh, this just popped up. Did I, did I have to do I, I think there's asking, do I have to take the placement test online? Um, this is something that we did discuss. If you go to hec.edu slash remote placement, there are three options to choose from, uh, included a directed self placement. You can take the test online or there are options to be exempt. So that's hec.edu slash remote placement. Uh, you can also email testing at hec.edu. Uh, I did see somebody come on here that they, they emailed testing and haven't heard back. Uh, please uh, email admissions at hcc.edu. Uh, we will definitely follow up. Um, you can email me directly as well, mfessler at hcc.edu. Uh, you know, one of us will certainly follow up 
Um, they're, they're with the remote services right now, there is a little bit of a backlog because uh, we have a lot of students going through the testing process. So there might just be a little bit of a delay, uh, but either way, if, if we will absolutely, if you reach out to admissions at hcc.edu or myself, mfessler at hcc.edu, we will absolutely follow up and uh, get you an answer for that. All right, it looks like the questions are slowing down a little bit. Um, we're at just about an hour and 15 minutes here, um, unless there's one or two questions that trickle in in the next couple seconds. Um, any other questions? Going once, once. going twice. <laughs> <laughs> all right, um, so thank you all so much for being here with us today. I, uh, you know, I truly appreciate uh, you taking the time to listen to us, interact with us. Uh, we certainly hope to see you soon as a uh, Hudson, uh, enrolling as a Hudson student and hopefully a graduate one day. Uh, so if you have any questions, please continue to reach out to us. We're here to support you. Um, and, you know, we're all in this together. We know there's a lot going on in the world right now, but we are all in this together. The one thing I can absolutely promise, you're going to have our support. You're going to have our customer service. And you're going to have a friendly smile too at Hudson. So, uh, and I want to thank all of my panelists for being here with us today. You guys were phenomenal um, and uh, just awesome. So, just appreciate it. Uh, and again, continue to reach out to us. Um, I'm going to put uh, the department contacts back up on the screen for the last uh, maybe minute or so. And feel free to write down, down some of that information. I also will uh, scroll over to our contact information page so that you can reach out to us directly as well. So that will be the last minute um, or so of this presentation. But at this time, panelists, you can say goodbye and we're, we can sign off and uh, we'll see Bye. everyone later. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you guys. Bye. Great day. Bye. Bye. Bye everybody. Thank you. Bye. Take care everyone. Have a great day.